Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Google Finance function in Google Sheets. Google Finance function helps you fetch real-time financial data from the Google Finance website. The basic form of Google Finance function looks like this. Ticker is the symbol of your stock. If you don't know the ticker of a company, you can just do a quick Google search and there you find the ticker. Attribute is the information about the stock that you want, like price or volume. Start date and end dates are the date for which you need the data. Interval is the frequency of return data. It can be either daily or weekly. In the beginning of this video, we are going to extract real-time data from the stock market. Secondly, we are going to retrieve historical data from the stock market for analysis. Lastly, we are going to create a sparkline chart for better visualization. So here I have the name of the ticker and name and price are the attributes. To get the name, write the formula is equals to Google Finance. Select the ticker, comma, under attribute, write name, and you get the full name of the company. To get the price, write formula is equals to Google Finance. Select the ticker, comma, write the attribute, price, and you get the latest price of the stock. If you want the values for other stock, you just need to copy the row and drag it. Now you can just change the ticker and Google Sheet will automatically fetch the data for you. Let's change it to Amazon, Tesla, and let's do FB. This is how you get the live data from the web. Using Google Finance, you can also retrieve the historical data from the web. Let's check it out. Let's say we want the yearly trend of the stock. Write the formula is equals to Google Finance. Select the ticker. Write the attribute price. Comma. Now to input date, we will use the date function. D-A-T-E. Input the date. Input the start date comma again input the end date bracket close and enter now you have two columns one for date and another for price so this is how you get historical data for the stocks historical data is useful for analysis and visualization let's see how to do that here i have extracted the price data for last year of apple stock just as we did in the previous section we are going to use a sparkline function to create the chart, so we only need the values of price column. To do that, we'll use index function. Write index, comma, comma, two, enter. Now, as we only have price, we can use a sparkline function. Type a sparkline and put the entire thing into a sparkline function. And you get the yearly trend of the Apple stock. To make this chart more interesting, let's change some attributes. Type curly braces and under quotations, write chart type. We will change chart type to column, semicolon, and color to blue. Now, this is looking more interesting than the previous one. Now to do the same with other stocks, you can just copy paste the row few times by dragging. Change the tickers of the stock. Let's go to Amazon, Twitter, Tesla. And after little resizing and formatting, this is your final result. That's all for today guys. This was a short and quick tutorial on how to use Google Finance function in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching.